Good day, 6th graders! This is Teacher Lovely, and today, we're going to learn about simple machines. Simple machines make works easier. Machines are not only seen in factories, but they can be found everywhere. In your home, the utensils your mother uses when she cooks are considered simple machines like the ladle and the knife. Your school supplies, like your scissors, sharpeners, and even your pencil, are also simple machines. The slides, the swings, and the seesaw that you can see in a playground are also simple machines. There are six simple machines. The pulley, lever, wheel and axle, wedge, inclined plane, and screw. Let us first learn about the lever. Lever is a straight or curved rigid bar that is free to turn about a fixed point. It has three locations of interest. The fulcrum or the fixed point, the load, which is being moved, and the effort where work is being done. Levers are of three classes, depending on the relative positions of the fulcrum, the load or resistance, and the effort. Class 1 lever has the fulcrum between effort and load. Examples are scissors, pliers, and crowbars. Class 2 lever has the load between effort and fulcrum. Examples are wheelbarrow, battle opener, and nutcracker. Class 3 lever has the effort between load and fulcrum. Examples are fishing rod, tongs, and tweezers. These levers help us to multiply the effort force so we can easily do some works. The next simple machine is the pulley. Pulley is a grooved wheel that turns around an axle, which is held in place by a mounting bracket. It has three points of interest, the fulcrum, the point of effort at one end of the rope, and the resistance or load to be lifted. There are three kinds of pulley, the fixed pulley, movable pulley, and the compound pulley. Fixed pulley has the axle fixed on a surface. Its fulcrum is at the center of the axle with effort and load on either side. It can be seen in a well or in a flagpole. Movable pulley moves along the rope or wire. The fulcrum is at the edge of the wheel with the load at the middle of the axle and the effort at one end of the rope. Examples of movable pulley are cable car, zip line, and elevator cable. Compound pulley. Compound pulley is made up of a combination of two or more fixed and movable pulleys. It is usually used in ships. These pulleys help us to pull up objects. Another simple machine is the inclined plane. It is a plane tilted at an angle with one end higher than the other. Examples of these are wheelchair ramp, stairs, ramps on airplanes, trucks, and ships. This make moving things to a higher place a lot easier. A screw is also one of the simple machines. 
It is a spiral inclined plane and it is composed of a cylindrical body with a spiral ridge called thread. Examples of this are bolt and nut, faucets connector, battle tip, and screw. These help us to fasten things. Wedge. Wedge is an inclined plane or two inclined planes that meet each other to form a sharp edge. Some are rolled up to have a sharp point instead of an edge. Examples of wedge are knife, axe, nails, pins, and push pin. This makes cutting and piercing a lot easier. The last simple machine is the wheel and axle. Wheel and axle is a machine that has a small disc or shaft called an axle that is attached to a wheel. The wheel may be a complete wheel or a crank that turns like a wheel. Example of this is the sharpener. Examples of wheel and axle are Ferris wheel, doorknob, steering wheel, and potter's wheel. These help us to change the direction of course. Let us recall the six simple machines that we learned today. The pulley, the lever, wheel and axle, wedge, inclined plane, and the screw. These simple machines are simple tools that make our life easier. Simple machines help us lift, pull, change the direction of the force, split, cut, or fasten things. They are very useful to us, but they may cause harm or injury if not handled properly. I hope that you learned a lot today about simple machines. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next lesson. Bye!